What's going on guys? Alex with 814 EDC and today I have a real quick uh, unpackaging or unboxing to do for you guys today. Uh, the unboxing knife is the Ace Grand and M390 and Red Micarta with a Lynch Blacksmith deep carry clip on this. Um, I have really enjoyed having this knife in. Uh, it's hard to get away from fidgeting with it and to care, uh, from carrying it. Uh, I'm super glad I finally pulled the trigger on one and have it in the collection. Uh, I think it's a fantastic knife and I'm just, I'm really happy with it. So, um, but the package is coming from my good buddy, Corey over at Stafford's EDC. Uh, his channel will be linked down below. Please go give it some love. He is another, I think he's, he's my age. I believe he's 23. Um, still, I think he's getting done. I can't remember if he said he's in, I think he's in his master's year of school. Um, but Corey's a great guy. I'm, uh, you know, really happy to call him a good friend. Uh, he's, you know, has some awesome knives in his collection. Um, so one of the knives in here is his personal knife, and the other one is a pass-around knife from the Lefty Pass-Around. Uh, it is the RR Standard, I think it's a prototype. Uh, and then one of the, or the other knife that is Corey's is one of three. Um, I told him to surprise me with whatever he wanted to send me, but it's either a Ray Laconico Custom, a JG Scout, which I think is a custom, and then a, um, I think it's a Jason Varus, I think it's, uh, they're Vectors, I think. Um, I could have, you know, completely butchered that last one, but uh, they're all three custom knives. Uh, and he, you know, asked me what he, uh, he sent me a message when he was sending me the um, standard, excuse me, I'm having a tough time talking today, guys. Uh, and he asked me, you know, was there anything else I wanted to check out? And he told me what he had. Uh, and I was like, you know what, just, I'll check out any one of those. Just surprise me with what I'm, you know, getting. So, I don't know what's in here, but I'm excited. Corey is, like I said, he has a really good knife collection. It, it you know, moves around a lot. He gets a lot of nice stuff in, and then he, he gets rid of it and trades and buys and sells. Uh, but he has had some really, really nice stuff in his collection. He has sent me, uh, the last package he sent me was uh, just an absolute, you know, banger of a package. He sent me his Oz Roosevelt. Absolutely fell in love with that knife. Someday I will own a Roosevelt when I uh, feel more comfortable spending that much money on knives. Um, or the secondary prices hopefully come down a little bit, but he sent me the, uh, Roosevelt and he sent me the, or his Trevor Burger, I think it's the LEXK, two fantastic knives. He has sent me a Trevor Burger Urban before, really, really nice custom. And he has sent me, uh, I think he got me introduced to the TRM Neutron 2, which is why I had a Neutron 2, then sold it. But then I, uh, he kind of talked me back into getting the, uh, titanium one that I have, but, um, for being a you know 23 year old 24 year old you know college kid he has a really nice collection and i definitely can tell that he quality uh he values quality over quantity which i am starting to kind of lean a little bit more towards i'm not buying as much budget stuff anymore as i typically do um, but without further ado we're going to get into this uh, box all right so the knife comes in a knife standards so the knife standards are our standard. Knife standards is the designer. Um, nice. I don't know why I showed you this back thing, uh, but a nice, you know, hard shell case. That's really, really nice. Also in here is a Stasa 23 knife therapy patch. Um, I'm not sure if that just goes with the box or what is, you know, the idea with that. Also get a, there's a couple um, Stasa 23, trying to hold it the right way. Stasa 23 Knife Therapy stickers. So I don't know if Stasa was the first one to get this box and he just, you know, kept having swag in here or what it is, but... Um, all right, so this is two pieces of paper here. So it's a letter to Kevin from um, Knife Standards. ATR, I believe, is his, his initials. Um... So I don't know. I'm going to wait and read this with my full review. I feel like because there's kind of a lot going on in this video with two knives. Um, I want to read this stuff and go over it. It's, it's the features. Um, it's the production changes. And it's kind of the, um, you know, the reason behind this knife. And it's I think it's revolving around his dad that passed away. So I'm going to wait and read all this for my full review whenever that goes live. So you guys can, you know, be a little bit more tuned into that. But set that to the side. Alrighty, pop this sucker open. And here is the RR standards, guys. So 
definitely a cool uh, and unique. Let me make sure I'm still filming. Yeah, I'm still filming. I hate when my watch does that because it makes it seem like it's not filming, but I am. Um, but, and I don't have my watch on because I just got home from work and I'm going to go mow grass and I'm dirty and you guys don't care about that stuff. But um, a really cool, unique design. Really beautiful blade. Um, I believe these are going to be in Magna Cut, which is really cool. Has a nice hollow grind. Love the swedging build in here. Obviously you have a choil. Nice and comfortable. It's a stiff detent, so the action's not going to be super drop shutty or guillotine, but it's it's nice and smooth. Uh, and I'm definitely, you know, down the line on the reviewers to check this out, so it's going to be broken in. I uh, really like the pocket clip on here. Reversible. Uh, I thought it was reversible. Maybe not. That might be in the changes that he's making. I'm not totally sure. But um, loop over style wire, DPR pocket clip. Yeah, the detent is nice and snappy. Thumb studs work really well. I love the uh, the milling that's going on here. As we're able to see that or not, it's milled on every you know this whole handle is milled besides the um, spine and the backspacer, but um, feels good in the hand. I really like that choil. This is cool. I can't wait to check it out. Um, give it a little bit of pocket time. It is dead centered. We'll try the lefty reverse flick. Nope, can't do it because of that lock bar, but. Um, Thumb flicks really well. That is a snappy detent. Fires right out of there. Thunders out of there with some nice acoustics. So, yeah, definitely a cool knife. Um, I'm excited to check it out a little bit deeper and see what my thoughts are on it. But this is the uh, Knife Standards RR Stair. Excuse me for not knowing that. Um, but definitely a really cool piece that I am excited to check out. So... And then the knife that Corey sent me, um, I believe, so I think this is, yes, I believe this is a JG Scout. Um, I'm just taking that from the pot clip, having JG on it. But this is a one uh, singular thumb stud, which is, I think, the first one I've experienced from that. Uh, and I think this is a full custom by him, so. Ooh, nice and snappy. This thing is just ridiculously lightweight. Um love that blade it's very unique it's kind of like a harpoon sheep's foot blade very very lightweight um choke up on it i think this is a washer knife to be honest with you i don't know too much about these um i think Corey is about the only person that i really like you know talk to and consider a friend in the knife community um or even follow on instagram for that matter that you know is into the scouts and the the vectors and all that stuff but this is cool um i don't know what these go for but i, I think they're you know they're definitely expensive i think they're up around a thousand dollars if not more uh, but it's super lightweight this appears to be some sort of carbon fiber because you can see on the end cuts there that you can see the carbon that's you know sneaking through um, but i love the anodized thumb stud there it looks like you can take the thumb stud out to reverse it on either side. Um, or I'm sure you could probably somehow get two thumb studs in there. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, well, you'd have to mill out a little bit. I guess it's not technically made for two. Um, but keep going to want a middle, a middle finger flick it. But the detent's nice and snappy. Very lightweight. And I, you know, I, I love how lightweight this is. So lefty reverse like it which is cool so you can't thumb flick it lefty but you can reverse like it i don't know what the steel is on this i'm gonna have to get uh, some information from Corey about it you know steel specs um price and everything like that but I mean, this is cool i'm it's not too often you get to check out a full custom knife uh, i think the only customs that i've checked out so far are the two trevor burgers that Corey sent me so um cory is my my plug for checking out customs and uh, I really have to give a huge shout out to you, Corey. I, I do appreciate you sending me some of your knives. Um, I mean, actually sending me all your knives that you've sent me. They've all been really, really nice pieces. And uh, this might be the icing on the cake because that detent is just super snappy. And it, for being on washers, I mean, it's it's really well broken in. I mean, I, I could sit here and fidget with this all day. So the pot clip is definitely unique. 
um, how they're kind of built on like standoffs and they're raised. I don't see that too often in the knife community. Um, so yeah, cool knife. I'm pretty excited to check this out too, but um, this was an unboxing of the Knife Standards RR Standards, or RR Standard, excuse me, that's a mouthful. Uh, and then I believe the JG Scout, courtesy of Corey Stafford over at Stafford's EDC. So shout out to you, Corey. Thank you so much, dude, for sending me this, um, or sending me both these. Uh, I'm going to take good care of them. And um, I can't wait to get this in pocket and to carry around and snag a few picks for the gram because I, I love snagging some picks of some really high-end expensive knives that I don't currently have in the collection. Um, and yeah, this thing is just really, really beautiful. So uh, that's all for today, guys. That's I just wanted to get on here and I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing before I go mow some grass. So uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Um, leave a comment down below. Do you guys have much, you know, experiences with any of the, the custom worlds of like the JG Scouts uh, and the Vectors and everything like that? I don't know why this just popped in my mind, but I think, I think his name is Jason Varis. I believe he was maybe a, um, like a, uh, an underling or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, JG, I don't know what his name stands for, uh, but I think Jason Varis might have been working under uh, the guy who makes the JG Scouts, and maybe he like left and started making his own knives. Because if you look at the Vectors and the Scouts, they look pretty. You know, there's definitely some similarities there. Um, I could could be uh, completely wrong with that, but that's just I don't know why it just popped in my head. I feel like I've either heard Corey say that or uh, I've heard it somewhere in a group chat or something like that, but I could be completely wrong. So I'm going to shut up now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys in the next one. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.